everybody. Good morning. I'm working on the body today. In the last video, I textured the beak, the feet, and the tongue in Substance Painter. Today, I am going to apply the textures and then we will start with um, X Gen as well for the body, only for the body. I'm still working on the wings part, thinking how I'm gonna. I've got I've got a few ideas, but I'm not going to share them yet. So let's apply the textures. Okay. So body. Okay, these are the smoothed ones. So I am going to delete those because what I did, instead of um, getting the low poly, because I don't think that the low poly would have, um, um, even if I, um, showed it as a smoothed edge it wouldn't have baked a really nice um, normal map in substance painter so what i tend to do is because i have my model in smooth mode here it's not smooth mode yes and when i export it like this even if i do the edge uh smoothed it's still um the normal map would not be nice from the high poly so what i tend to do is I tend to copy this, smooth it. I've showed uh, I've showed the process in the previous video, so you would know what I talk about. Uh, I tend to uh, copy it, smooth it, and export and texture the smoothed model into Substance Painter. I hope it makes sense. Okay, so let's open those. Okay, let's start with uh, the body for the beak. I textured only the beak. Uh, the feet and the tongue in Substance Painter. The rest, I don't need to texture in Substance Painter because we're going to have uh, X-Gen there, so there's no point of me um, overloading with other textures. This uh, usual uh, standard ones, is it's fine. So let's delete the history on this one. Okay, so let's go the beak first. Oh, what we shall we do first is let's do lighting. My favorite one at the moment, physical sky. Yeah. Okay, let's get um, one uh, area light or a few area lights as well. So we actually see what we're doing. What are you doing? Come on. Seriously? You want to play with me now? <laughs> okay, so let's just get one on top, maybe. One on top. I'm not going to go into details with the lighting for the time being. I just want to have, like, um, just some lights here and there. Let's duplicate that, rotate it, let's uh, give it uh, this way. Just we have a few different angles. Yeah. So we see how the textures are working as well. Let's do it one more time. Let's put that somewhere here, like underneath. Yeah. Okay, let's get a floor as well. Plain floor, just for the time being. <clears throat> Scale that. Let's make it less. <clears throat> I just need one. Don't need more. Do the IPR. Okay, coming closer. Okay, the first thing I always like doing is putting the roughness down. I really, really, really don't like the roughness. Don't like it that shiny. Just some. 
let's go to the other because I've got three textures on the eyes I've got on the eyes I've got on the body at the peak we can uh, amend after we plug in the textures we can amend the roughness let me just do that for the time being because I don't like it what's happening here what we're rendering on Two five forty. Um, it should be okay if I uh, go to seven twenty for the time being. Gives me a bit more detail. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just uh, bump up a little bit of those lights. Just a bit more here. Let me go to the. Um, Ground albedo. If I do the ground albedo white, I just want like basic. And if I switch off the camera thingy here, no, 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 no. Okay, uh, physical sky. I <clears throat> just want white background. Let's not play with it for the time being. Let me just give it a bit more um, exposure. Let's do a bit of temperature. A bit more exposure here as well. <clears throat> so we got a pretty good idea. Color temperature. Let's do a bit of warmer. And this one, let's do a bit more exposure as well. Okay, well, that should be okay for now, just to test the textures. Okay, let's pause that. Let's do the peak first. Mm -hmm. uh, let me make sure that I'm setting that project. Uh, yeah. Is it? Mm. Yeah, it's the one. Yeah. Okay. Because my textures are there, you know, they are textures SP, so I need the peak, don't I? Okay, so I need base color. Very nice. Let's do my canvas. <coughs> Soundness. It needs to be raw. We knock our space rules. The color balance alpha is luminance. We need to do. Then we are going to the roughness color. Let's plug it in first. Roughness. Again, it needs to be raw. Ignore color balance. Uh, let me move this way. Alpha is luminance. Yeah. And the last one we need to plug in is the pump file tangent space normals. Let's go back. Find our texture. Big normal. Again, room. Ignore color space, otherwise this yellow thing will keep popping out. Alpha is luminance, okay. Save. Uh, let's have a look. That looks nice. Does it look like I want it to look? Let's have a look. It's a 4K map I've um, exported. So... Uh, does it look... Yeah, it kind of looks like his. What if I... Mm -mm. to one more light let's copy that rotate it a bit let's go down scale it down a bit come on why not scaling I'm just gonna create another one <laughs> and that's my 2024 things might be a bit different than the previous ones I'm still exploring still exploring to see um, 
What's improved? What's different? Why can't I scare you? Then I can scare you. Okay. Lift it up a little bit. All right. Let's come closer. <clears throat> Let's do more exposure. That's it. Now we're talking. I always like changing the color. And I always like the warm yellow colors as well. That's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Very happy with that. Okay, save. Let's do the foot first. And then we can copy it paste it or oh, we can just mirror it or we can just scale it minus one on the x whatever you prefer doing okay uh, let's clear the history of that one as well there we are beautiful okay let's do color textures uh, feet base color this is just a normal color so we would uh, no need to change it to raw metalness. Uh, foot metalness again utility raw no color balance alpha is luminance. Same for the roughness color. Roughness raw ignore alpha. And last one to plug in is the normal dungeon space normals. Make sure that it's on, it's on that. Mm, feet, normal. Row, ignore, alpha, save. <laughs> it's a good routine to have, isn't it? Okay. Let's uh, let it uh, load. Yeah, it's 4K maps. I like working with 4K maps, so I get uh, good. Uh, let's do the same with the light. <clears throat> so we get more light because I've got, uh, I usually have um, loads of lights, you know, so we can see everything. I think there might be a bit dark. Let's see what we get once we put a light there as well, whether they're still uh, dark. I think I've made them a bit too dark. Where's the last light we did? And then this one. Yeah, I've made them a bit too dark. Depends. You know, I'm gonna leave it as it is for the time being because um, I can always uh, go and just um, get the texture in. I'm thinking whether we can do something about it here. Um, That's not gonna do the fuse is not gonna do anything, is it? I uh, can give it a bit of roughness, depends. Mm, oh really. Yeah, I'll just need to go back to substance paint and just make it a bit lighter. It's far too dark for what he really is, but I think other than that, it looks okay, doesn't it? Just open this one out of Yeah, it's so too dark. So, 
Yeah, we'll need to do it. Okay, but other than that, I like the beak. Maybe the beak can be a little bit lighter as well. Again, it depends on the... Yeah, maybe I can do a little bit more patterned. Yeah, I think the difference between the um, light and dark is... It's okay. I mean... After I've done the whole look, I can go back and just um, um, amend the um, color settings a little bit. But it looks really nice, the big, doesn't it? I like it. It's good. Let's do the tongue. Let's hide the body. Uh, the foot. Uh, body. Okay. Let's do the tongue. <clears throat> To see how it looks, whether we would need to amend this one as well. Color, the same thing we're doing. Okay, color, then we need to do the specular. No, we missed the metalness, didn't we? Okay. <clears throat> Uh, tongue, my tongue is utility, raw, ignore, alpha, then roughness, color, tongue, roughness, uh, raw, ignore, alpha, then the last one to plug in is the pump map, Dungeon span this is normal. Plug in the file. Mm -hmm. Normal, yeah. Okay, save. Okay, oh, look. not too bad. Mm, I think it's gonna work. I don't think we've done the roughness that we have done. I don't like it that shiny. That's gonna work. Yeah, that's gonna work really well. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we've got lots of noise there, but that's fine. We don't need to be amending anything for the time being. So. This is the textures we've done for him. Very nice. Obviously, I will probably, after I do the whole look, I will make the feet a tiny bit lighter to match them to the fur on the side as well. And maybe touch up the beak. But for the time being, that's brilliant. Okay. So, let's save this. I will leave you. And then I will see you in the next video where we are going to start um, with XGen. I am planning on using interactive, uh, the XGen interactive groom. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that it, it will work the way I want it to. So see you in the next video. Thank you.